<laughs> so you want to just put a date yeah. on it? Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, so this is our page two. Page, is page two, whatever you want. Yeah, that's good. Page two. Um, so all you're doing, again, this is all about the chords. So I want you to practice this first. Uh, top of page two. Um, you have a D major second inversion, A major root position, B minor second inversion, F sharp minor root position, G major second inversion, D major root position. You see the pattern? G major second inversion, and then to A second inversion. So it's almost the same as this that you were doing before, only it's adding another note in the bottom. Okay, so you are playing a D in your left and a D in your right, but they're different inversions. So we have root position D, second inversion D. First inversion A, root position A. Uh, root position B, second inversion B. And then root position F sharp minor. So it's always root position in the left hand. And it changes in the right, so it's kind of a little brain challenge for you to, to be doing that. Uh, starting down here at measure 13, uh, the next time through, it's the same as, <laughs> ducks, it's the same as the first, uh, the first part of the tune, only we're adding some rhythm to it. So it's still F sharp to E, B to C sharp, right? What I'm going to do here is on the last note of each chord, one, two, three, on the fourth note, you're going to play the same note that you played. So it's going to be like this. And then this one. Just gives you another little. And then, guess what? You could also do that here. When you get to the, the harmony. That's the second half of the first page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same notes, different rhythm. 